welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing the Beaver Course in Lester Lurch Park in Cedar Hill, Texas. Coming in at 6,100 feet, par 55. Starting off here at hole one, par four, 494 feet. It is 30 feet uphill. You've got OB on the right, which is a road, and you've got a property line, you know, barbed wire fence on the left that's also OB. Tricky starting hole. He was like, yeah. Not trying to bite off too much distance. I'm just wanting to stay inbound. I'm going with a diamond back here. Maybe they turn a little blade right in the middle. Past that big tree, though, which that's the biggest obstacle on this hole, so I will take it. Oh, shit. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. bullet here on my upshot and I just sky it way too much, I don't know way too high. what I did wrong there, but definitely messed up that uh, should have been an easy birdie to be in that position after the tee shot. Just giving it a floaty bit here because I don't want to be in the bushes on the left. Didn't Are you put quite me? enough on it, but yeah. that's alright. Oh. <laughs> uh, the seven. Starting off the new year with a par. Hole two, par three, 340 feet. This is slightly downhill, not much though. Um, you do have a property line and a road, which are OB on the left. I have Going with the oh, swirly Apex Mustang here. Trying to kind of throw it into the dirt between those trees and let the momentum of the disc carry it towards the basket. Kicked a tree branch though. Out here in circle two. Another par. Hole three, par three, 330 feet. Slightly uphill. You do have the OB road, which is deep. I'm going to Athena here. This is test flight Athena. It's probably the beefiest one out there. Probably could have gone with the prototype. Dude. The camera is a little bit to the right and in front of the basket, just or of the tin, excuse me, Mom. of the tee pad, just so you could see the ah. basket. Oh, well. uh, otherwise it is blind. And depending on how short your tee shot is, you can end up with a blind oh, upshot. Don't want. This is a pretty good spot to be. Obviously I would have liked to throw it a little straighter, be closer to the pin, but Having a look at a two, not bad. Hole four, par three, 386 feet. It is slightly downhill until you get to the mouth of that tunnel, and then it is very downhill. So you get the OB road on the right, and you've got a Mando that you have to play on the left side of. Going Jackalope. Playing with those tree branches really isn't necessary, but I like that shot shape. That patch is supposed to be one of the shorter pin positions. I haven't seen it there in a long time. Going forehand bullet. I'm giving this thing a full run here. I was surprised <laughs> it didn't draw metal. I sailed it. Oh, you went with kind of, I kind of gave it a run. I'd rather be putting back up the hill than down the hill. Oh, for sure. And this is a common upshot here where you put it at the mouth and play super safe where you can see the basket. It is insanely lucky that I stayed this close. It's possible to oh, be nice shot. down this hill past the basket because it just the roll away because they're so high. On to hole five, par three, 393 feet. Relatively flat. You do have a low ceiling off the tee. You really just don't want to be too far left, but even if you are, as long as you're right-handed, you'll have a hyzer end of the game. In thing. Going with my wave here. Oh, way too low. I'm trying to remember where the basket is. Basically, right above my disc, but. Come on. Get stable. You know what? I can make that work. Yeah. Not too bad. The pure hyzer is blocked because of this dead tree, so I'm having to 
throw a little flexi upshot with the zone, and it sits nice and close, so no complaints there. Ooh, easy to find yourself off the fairway and in some trouble, even close to the green there. On a hole five, par three, 344 feet. Lots of pin positions down there. Mm, a didn't sound like it was off the fairway or anything. You really just don't want to be mm. early left. Uh, Zach shot was just far enough left. There we go. Going with the Proto Athena again here. Athena. So low. To get flat again. Whoa! Just that was sweet. <laughs> Especially considering. One downside to these older baskets is, although they do have the big red number plate, sometimes it's easy to miss them. I was wondering where yeah, Zach was throwing it. He didn't see the basket where he was throwing it. Another one. Sit down. A little soft bit here. Minsk. Got pin high with that ground play, which was pretty amazing. Ah. And hole seven, par three, 469 feet. You do have an OB cart path on the right, and this is the rare basket position where you can see it. There is a shorter one that you'll see in a moment that is off to the left in that little clearing. Going diamond back. I bought like two discs at their pro shop and then I never touched disc golf again until I met y'all. This trees nicely, so that finishes in the clearing. That is pretty much all I can ever hope for without uh, flirting with that OB cart path. <laughs> Get through this it. Wall of bushes over it. Not in it. You get really tricky the further left you get. So there's that short basket position, which I would have a birdie look at, but I really do like this longer position. It's a cool green. Oh my god, that was beautiful. You should just get one of those massive hard drives with like a couple terabytes on it. First yeah, I need water to. Hole of the day. By the pond here, hole eight, par three, 297 feet. But if you are scared of the water, it's very easy to really not involve it at all. The water is the only OB. There's a couple other fairways you could kind of throw towards and have a dry look at the basket. I'm going with my oldest. Oh, I didn't get it here. over the water. Give me a scoop. Huh? It's pretty open. I've got a low ceiling. Oof. Look here, the branches making me throw a spinner. It stands up and rolls. Yeah, pretty look at the pond there. When the pond is that full, though, hole nine, par three, 218 feet, you do have an Obi Creek that kind of swells into this fairway a little bit. So, a fair amount of OB, there is a drop zone up there. Coming with a four clock zone, like a madman. Does that zone have four clocks on it? All over the place. Yeah, four time zone. You buy that from you. Now you're speaking my language a little bit. This little anti flex shot with the zone. Do we still have zones at the store? I don't want to go in the water. I am super close. I have obstructed. If you watch my body language here, you'll see the moment when I realize that I am in fact OB. Oh, what a bummer. Like the shortest hole on the course. But it is what it is. Hole 10, par 3, 372 feet. It is a dog leg left. Really sweet tunnel shot. When the leaves are full, this is just such a pretty fairway. I really like this fairway a lot. Going ESP Zeus. 
Right up the gut. See, that's the shot I was going big for. Flare. The only one thing that comes together. And here is a look from kind of the corner of that dog leg. Sneak peek at the green here. But even he's a little obstructed Dude, here. He's no. on Spike Kaiser with the putter. Almost rings it up. Hole 11, par 3, 202 feet, lots of trees. This one has multiple pin positions as well, and normally it's way down there to the left obstructed. There is a short position to the right that you can kind of see from the tee. I'm going to diamond back here. Just kind of bite off as much distance as possible. Oh, Put a little too boom. much on it, though. Oh, baby. Which is a good thing, because there is a oh, position I've never played oh. before. Tucked really back to the right. Get off it. Yes. See that other position on the right. See that. that was when we didn't have like a year's worth of discs on Right. Car on a hole, we don't even know where the basket is. Not too bad. Hole 12, par 3, 183 feet. So actually, this is the shortest hole in the course. There's some easily identifiable lines, but they're very tight. It's kind of a poke and pray hole, but oh. after your tee I mean, shot, you want to be aware of what the green is doing. The basket is actually elevated. It's hard to tell because the ground slopes away short of the basket mm. and continues okay. to slope away behind the basket. So if you do anything a little too crazy or you just get insanely lucky, you can find yourself along. How do you back to the top? I think I even know which one. There's so many trees. It's pretty unlikely. Oh, I thought you were going to find that issue. Hole 13, par 3, 278 feet. This is a lefty hole, righty forehand hole, or a yes. thumber hole. This is a great thumber side, hole. Right? I think so. It might be like through that broken way, branch the far side. the open sky is. And so. let that throw do the rest of the work. I'm going forehand with the Phoenix, though. It's really just like beautiful. That's about lay up and give yourself a look to have a long look at a two or at least get a par because the rough is thick on this one. <laughs> this tree that's in the middle of the screen is one of the last trees you can see on the corner. So it's a good reference point. Oh boy. I think you're good. Super lucky with this zone up shot. I should have had a 50 footer and fought through. Another par. Hole 14, par 3, 242 feet. Flat, mostly open. There's just this big evergreen tree that you got to beat. There's a low line drive. Low forehand with a skip shot, and the lobster I'm feeling a big turnover with the lobster. I put a little too right much ante on it, and it accidentally comes in front of the tree. What was that? Catches a branch. It nicks the tree, it straightened out. it up, and ended up being okay. Best possible result because that thing was heading to here or worse, and if you're right. The closer you get to the green, and the more right you are, you are so close. Not really Dang to do that corner, you've got to just play. So, super, super fortunate to go here. It's starting to get windy. And I just did enough legs. But, we move on. Hole 15, par 3, 369 feet, downhill tunnel shot. There is a deeper position back to the left that's a similar shot to hole 10, but yeah, this is a sweet, sweet hole. Let's go and roll her with a first round sublime free throw. Oh, dude! The I loved that out of your hand. And that's then it cool just play, wasn't. Going Big Z Zeus. Eight. Oh, way too low out of the hand. That. That had legs. That could have been good. 
fortunately I have a way to step out. Going eternal bullet here. And jump put this. Stay close. Not too bad. Oh my goodness, that was bad. But that attempt was really bad. We're going to move on to hole 16, par 3, 490 feet. You do have a Mando on the right side of the fairway, so you got to stay to the left. You have an Obi Pond on the left if you, you know, got crazy and found it. And you do want to keep your head on a swivel because there is multiple converging fairways here. None of them really overlap, but because there's not well defined, God damn, you're dude. Not protected. Isn't that exactly what you said? I was picturing going on the right side, but I was like either side. What's going on? You don't want to end up on this bit. At the bottom of this tree, it's kind of in the middle of the fairway. Hard to navigate that, so get past all that. A really nice perk. Four claw. Chip in the bed. I think we parked it. Honestly, I was surprised to have this cut, but no complaints. On to hole 17, par 3, 277-ish feet to the short pin position. But today it is way up that hill. I thought I'd be able to see I, it with I'm the trying camera, to remember all the possibilities. Because there's obviously the there's, there's up top, the and then there's like one or two the back, but down low. It is way up the hill. Big flex back end is the play, I believe. Remember. Uh, otherwise, just throw in a hyzer or something stable that you can throw 300 feet over that down log. That's a great play. Because this shot kind of left myself in a weird awkward position <laughs> for the up shot. Since I don't know where it is. It is possible to avoid throwing over the pond. First kind of accidentally laid up to the edge. What? It's going to roll into the water. Uh, shot. The water here is really not that bad. Missed it by. There's the basket way up there, and you can see how hidden it is, so I'm not surprised we couldn't see it. The number plate is also facing the fairway, not the tee box. But I'm left with a super low ceiling from the base of that tree on the right side of the screen. That's about where my disc is. Super low ceiling, all I can do is bury that putter into the hill. I could have flat skipped up. Shoot like myself that. along. Maybe a 60 foot look. After 16 holes, this hill is a height, but here's what the green looks like. Pretty clear, a little rocky. Hole 18, par 3, 456 feet. You have an OB cart path on the right, and then the parking lot is deep of the green. Back here, chipping it up into the middle of the fairway. Eh, I'll take it. The one really nice thing in editing is I won't have to like crop 4K footage and Basket. get this like pixelated and, zoom. I'll uh -huh. be able to like actually not even mess with that probably. And I am gonna go with the big it's gonna be so nice. juice. Try and bite off some distance. Although I'm not gonna have a look at a two for this distance. How long does you just say this hole is? Um, oh fitty. So this is usually a par at best hole for me. Yeah, we'll do that. Unless you do this. I was kind of afraid this would happen. I'm I was going to risk the OB ball. right rather than the natural OB left. OB. Over the car path. But mm -hmm. since it's New Year's Day, I'm going to take a mulligan. But yes, P Zeus. Oh, that helped you so much. It evened out. Here, 
pretty much meet. They're at the apex of the corner. Chipping up again. And there's the basket. Short of the parking lot. And this would be a great shot if it wasn't my shiggle mulligan cheater throw. Throwing that little flexi and up shot with the zone again. I'm leaning on that shot a lot today. Nice up. Yeah, oh man, I Beaver. opened the Play screen on time. While you're there, there's also a video that that up on my channel already. But. Both fantastic courses. Bring a lunch. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you out there.